All right, guys. So today we are going to be talking about Rowan. So Rowan is a light barrier support character. So this is actually a fairly good healer to kind of start things off with. So if you guys are luckily able to pull this character within like your early summons, it's actually pretty good for progression because this character is actually pretty strong throughout. So let's kind of take a quick look. So initially, what well, you guys do get one copy of it. This is essentially what you're getting. So the legendary plus, the mystic plus, and the supreme plus are gonna be something you will not have access into unless you are able to pull more copies and then further enhance it. So let's kind of take a look at what we are working with just you know initially. So the ultimate, the fatal greed. This is actually quite powerful because you are providing energy to your uh, allies. So that's actually good. And then this one does have a initial energy to begin with. So you are starting out right out right when you start the match, you are getting 400 energy ready. So in terms of charging up the ultimate is relatively fast. So you can you know already give your ally the recovery energy so that's actually pretty good this one the smart stall this is going to be the healing factor so Rowan place two energy potion on his trollery when the battle star allies within two towers with hp ratio below 50 percent automatically use the potion to heal 40 percent of their max hp up to 800 of Rowan's attack each allies can use up to one Heal potion every six seconds. So this is where the healing capability kind of comes in. It may not seem as strong as you know some of the other support character, but then keep that in mind. This is not you know just ideally a healing character. There's a lot more going on. So this is quite cool. Uh, once you are able to progress through the different levels that it has, it's pretty much going to be increasing you know the HP recovery and etc. So it's pretty nice to have. And then the other one is the Quack uh, Wasp over here. So this this one is kind of like the damage dealing uh, factor from Rowan. So it's going to be uh, Rowan is going to call on Bardak to attack enemy dealing 150% in damage and absorb 70 energy. And then pretty much after that, it's going to be increasing what it actually does. So that's pretty much what we're getting on base. And then once you get up to the legendary plus, that is uh, when you have few more copies. Uh, Rowan actually increases his haste. So in terms of uh, what the haste means, uh, it's able to attack faster. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, by seven during the battle, so haste increased by seven during the battle, and then haste increased by an additional six until replenishing a health potion using Quack Wasp. So that is good you know the fact that this unit is able to you know hit faster that will allow you to trigger the ultimate more frequently so that's actually pretty good and then a great bargain so after selling three heal potion roll in place a super heal potion that restores 60 percent of allies and max hp and permanently increase their physical and magical defense by 30 percent that is nuts so you have to get up to mystic plus to gain more healing but i mean this is going to be a long progression character so it's going to be pretty much good for all content uh from you know early progression mid progression even into like late games and whatnot this is going to be a great character to use for the healing purposes so not bad and then once we get to the supreme plus we are getting a enhanced uh yeah enhanced force so we're in place one more heal potion when battle starts using smart star so you're simply getting more healing why, why not <laughs> let's add more to that so this character is busted. So you guys are already seeing some gameplay via Rowan in terms of using it in, let's say, AF the AFK stages. So obviously in AFK stages, this character is uh, fairly effective, obviously. But uh, in terms of using it in Dream Realm and then in Arena, let's kind of see how Rowan actually does in there. All right, so we are in Dream Realm. So we are going to be fighting Skyclops today. So I am already at the Endless Mode. So essentially, there isn't necessarily an HP bar we need to take down. It's them simply trying to survive as long as possible. So we will be using a full light bearer faction. So in terms of the setup, I went for these four characters and then uh, do I have four already? No, I still need one more. So I think for the last one, we might just put 
in a while as just for the video purposes. And then as far as the fifth character, I am going to be dropping in a hydrogen character because this is actually a really good support type character as well. Um, I definitely do feel like Rowan by himself, especially when we do not have access to all of his uh, ability is just not going to be as strong so that's why i did opt to bring a secondary healer for this team and then let's kind of see how we would do um i think for the purpose of things we'll just kind of put it at one time speed for this and then see how far we can kind of get um so it's all right so Rowan's almost able to use it his ultimate so that's gonna be good all right all right so yeah, everyone's getting their energy back. So that's that is yeah, that's good. Because uh, when they are getting energy back, they're obviously going to be able to activate their ultimate faster. So in return, uh, we are able to you know just be able to proctor you know pretty much all allies' abilities. So that's going to be good for sure. All right, <laughs> yeah, that energy certainly is coming in clutch. All right, let's kind of see. I think we'll just actually put it in two times speed because since we are at the uh, endless what well, endless mode, so it's gonna take a minute until we either die or we just yeah we yeah the only situation is, is we die because there is no timer. <laughs> so this might actually take on a while because uh, with Rowan and then a Rainer is a pretty good combo right now, and then our artifact is also healing us. No, or uh, yeah. Our artifacts telling us uh, as well, so this is definitely going to take a hot minute. All right, so all right, sure. So this is essentially things you guys are expected to see once you guys are able to get up into the end game, right? This this is kind of like the end game, like trying to be or trying to get a high score in the dream realm. It's definitely things that we we are trying to aim for every day. So. All right, I lied. There is a timer actually. I I wasn't I wasn't look at it. <laughs> All right, so let's do kind of see because uh, oh check that oh, Rowan yeah. So that's the healing capability from Rowan. So Rainier in this situation was actually not healing. Okay, sure. I mean like if we do take a look at uh, Rainier's kit. There are things in here that heals, but uh, for whatever reason we we just ain't you know <laughs> healing from rainier so okay but uh you guys can see the healing capability from Ro uh rowan is just phenomenal you guys can definitely see that so it's actually pretty good all right so i think now we can actually hop into some arena and see how it goes all right so when we are playing arena we obviously do need to take a look at what the enemy lineup is so we always rely on the fashion strategy because in terms of the enemy lineup right now I do see to a great point so it's not going to be good to our light bearer so I might ultimately just run um, Rowan by himself as a light bearer and then use some other to counter them because I see two light uh, what is it two great born one molar one wilder and then one uh, Rowan is actually on their end is their support as well so I think we definitely do need to strategize something to go against that. So I think I'll just put uh, Rowan right there. And then as far as the other one, we might just go with some Wilder, right? So I might actually go for like a full Wilder support if we want to. I think that probably would work as well. Um, but I think ultimately, since this is Arena, I probably would go for a secondary healing as well. Or maybe just a good DPS. So I think for this one, we might just go for um, let's go for Audi. All right, uh, I'll definitely do a showcase on Audi on why he is a really good. But uh, in terms of my team, obviously I have I have a max out. But uh, is, is it, there's a reason why I max him out rather than the other A level character, which we will kind of go over that in a separate video, not in this one. Um, uh, so I think we can do that. Oh wow, I just noticed everyone on their team is actually pretty much maxed out as well. Uh, I'll go for that and then I'll probably go for a second tank. Alright. We will just kinda do that. Let me let me take a look at the chart again. Um alright, I think lastly maybe I'll go for Laika. Yeah. This is definitely a, a mixed bag team that I don't 
I don't know how good this would work. Let's kind of see. I just kind of put it, put it together, just for fun. Okay, all right. I mean, so far we aren't doing that bad. All right, give me the energy back. Let's go. Okay, boys and girls, we got the energy going on. Let's go. Pop those DX get faster, so our ultimate faster. Let's go. All right. So far, it's a stalemate. All right. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Sure. Sure. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. That went pretty good. And in terms of the healing, yep. Royal did what he got to do. So that was not bad. So the other two characters, obviously, like these two were able to heal as well, just minimal. But uh, Roland was able to carry for the healing, for the support of uh, the apartment. So that was good. So we'll probably hop into a few just for setting some example for uh, how good Roland is. All right, so this is going to be the lineup we are going with. So I went for three Greyborn because they do have a three library right there. So their healer is a Hay one. So she is actually another phenomenal support as well. So we will definitely go over her in a different video as well. So uh, in terms of our setup, we did opt to go for another healer, which is going to be in the in the, <laughs> in Rainer style because uh, Rainer is just too good. All right, so that's why we got to bring Rainer in this setup. Uh, but let's kind of see how things will kind of go. I like, don't know. Uh, all right, so so far it is definitely a stalemate for sure. All right, coming in with the ultimate. All right, perfect. Yeah, we are pretty much getting all those uh, ultimate going on pretty soon. Oh no! Wow, Rowan actually died. That's crazy. He got target like that. Wow. Okay. That's uh that's unfortunate, but let's kind of see how things kind of go. Oh, yeah. And this one obviously uh, Rowan died, so obviously like we just couldn't do that much. So that's why having uh, Rainier right there was actually a kind of a good thing we we had him because otherwise we would have we would have got cooked right there. So it's not bad it's not bad um we'll probably do one more just uh just for it all right so this last one is going to be quick and easy we are just going to go in with a full mobile setup with uh rowan as the support because their team they are using three wilder so i've been like i'm just going to give them a quick counter right there and then and that should be fine uh let's kind of see how we will kind of do right here um, i think we shouldn't have too much of a problem right yeah all right Roland's about to activate his ultimate, so let's kind of get that going. Oh yeah, those ultimate charging are real fast. All right, sure things. So that was yeah, that was pretty good. Yup, yup, yup. I don't think in in terms of the setup that we had, I don't really think we need a whole lot of supports, right? Because like the enemy didn't really have the most optimal setup. Like we are going to type advantage pretty much, so that's why the healer is just for the insurance purposes, but. Um, other than that, that's going to be pretty much it in terms of the Rowan showcase over here. Um, obviously, Rowan is a fairly good support type character. If you are able to get up the ultimate, that is effectively going to change up the uh, overall gameplay because uh, your allies is going to be able to do what they got to do to kind of take down the other enemies. So uh, that's why if you are able to sustain with Rowan, like probably with like, I don't know, like a tank or maybe another support, that would probably be better. Because I think Rowan by himself at the moment without the other enhancement to uh, the Mystics, the or the Legendary Mystics and the Supreme Plus, it's not, it's just not going to be as good. Uh, but as of right now, just uh, one copy of Rowan, uh, I think he's definitely pretty phenomenal. But um, other than that, that's going to be pretty much it for me and I'll be catching you guys on the next one.